It is. How are we doing today? We're pretty good, pretty good. So I, uh, I guess we'll start off with being and work our way back let's around. Let's do it, let's do it. So my, my, my first question, man, is uh, we're going to get more into more of those transformations. Oh, we're getting this. Yeah, we're getting this. You know, I've noticed, all, um, you know, I mean, it could be budget and whatever, stuff like that, but a lot of the transformations happen off screen, and we're going to see more of that metamorphosis on camera. Well, we'll get a, we'll get a hybrid. We're, we're, we're going to get some metamorphosis on camera. We're going to get some, some changes on camera. Uh, but budget is always kind of the the uh, the Achilles heel of, of Beast Boy. It's a difficult character to do. We've seen other green CGI characters kind of uh, be laughed at on the internet, but also praised. Um, no shade in that, in that direction, but you want to do it well. And we have examples of doing it well and not doing it well. Uh, this season, the, vi the visual effects team did a phenomenal job. Shout out to Gunner, uh, our special effects. Uh, sorry, visual effects guys. Um, he brings a level of attention to detail that um, VFX artists don't always do. He's not being rushed. You know, he's allowed the time, he's given the resources to really honor each character, what their powers look like, um, and how they would translate in our world. Uh, you know, because they're, they're, they're not, they're not going to be as comic book in tone as like Teen Titans animated right. series, um, but how, how they would look in the real world. And yeah, uh, shout out to, to Gunner, uh, the FX guy, and, and everybody on his team. Thank you. Are you ever going to do any of your own stuff? Yes, I have. Uh, I, I started with martial arts uh, at a young age, and I've been uh, doing screen fighting for 14 years now. Um, it's, I think, one of the reasons I'm getting uh, hired uh, in this industry is I'm able to do, I would say, 95% of my own stunts. That 5% uh, is left up to professionals like Chris March, Travis Wong, Jay Quang, Steve Tarada, um, Emerson Wong. Um, I'm forgetting some folks. If I am, I apologize. But those guys uh, come in and do some of the really technical, meticulous moves that I'm incapable of doing. But the majority of the fights, that is me. Um, I like uh, going in for rehearsal. I like making sure that I am seen as much as possible in those fights because uh, there's nothing worse than being excited for a fight and cutting to wides and knowing that the stunt doubles doing all the work, but that's not to take away from what the, the work that stunt doubles do, because frankly, they can do superhuman things that no actor can do. There's, like, I mean, Keanu Reeves can do some stuff, Jackie Chan can do some stuff, but even their capability goes to a degree, and that's when you need people who are devoted to this craft of, of stunt work and, and physical uh, understanding. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a craft, it's an art form, and you know, they're professionals in their own in their own field. Hi. Um, what can you tell us about Gar's journey this season? Gar's, uh, Gar's journey, it's phenomenal. Um, he has a lot of baggage, a lot of trauma from the previous three seasons that he's able to really unpack this season. He does a lot of uh, internal work. It's, it's He's always kind of been the shoulder to cry on, uh, but also he's been the one crying on shoulders. He is the one who leads with a smile, a joke, a hug, and uh, his, his whole ethos is compassion. His, his, what he offers the team is uh, free counseling and therapy. Um, uh, dad jokes that are unwarranted and no one wants. Um, and uh, morale that the team otherwise wouldn't have in, in these dark circumstances. And that kind of caregiver role comes to fruition and, and comes full circle when he uh, focuses those efforts on himself. And the work required to really heal, put trauma to rest, to evolve out of old narratives, it requires a lot of internal reflection. It requires a lot of uh, growth. It requires being honest with yourself and, and having a desire to change. And his power is all about evolution, change, being able to embody an entirely different persona and physical form. So we want to kind of take that power, but also still tell the human version of that power, the human story, which is him evolving his emotional state through real deep internal work. 
Uh, piggyback, piggybacking off of that question, uh, that was a very deep answer, and looks like you put a lot of thought into the character. Um, has any of that um, deep thought and creative endeavor flowed over into your real life and how you? Absolutely. I mean, I think post 2020, I, one of the things that we should be championing, championing more than any other thing is mental health. I mean, how many of I, the world's issues could we solve if we were responsible individually for taking care of our mental health? And then as a family, and then as a community, and then as a nation, and then as a planet. Like it, but it still trickles down from self. And um, I've been on this, this journey with this character for quite some time now. Greg Sipes kind of put me onto this path of um, understanding a little bit higher consciousness through veganism and trying not to um, revert to the most primal of functions. And that has led me down numerous um, hermetic paths of finding wisdom and knowledge. Uh, that I savor in my personal life that then has helped to inform the performance and some of the content that I, I flesh out with Gar's storyline this season. But yeah, I, uh, you know, I, I think I think the internal work and self work, changing um, past uh, habits and narrative, is is important for for growth as a whole. So that is the that is the through line for Gar this season. Thank you. Not to Thank you all. Can we have time for one more? Oh, yeah. Oh, you sure? Oh, that'd be uh, great. So, uh, quick question for you, then, I guess, is just the show deals with very out there sci fi heavy things, um, as most of these kind of superhero shows tend to do. But it's also very grounded and steeped in this human drama. And I'm just wondering, as an actor, what's it like to sort of juggle and balance those things? Yeah, I. Uh, <laughs> any day where the, the theme is heavy comic book tone. You know, you have people being thrown through windows, you have goo being splattered across set, you have people on wires. Those are fun days. But when you get to be across from another performer who is not only showing up professional and willing and capable of doing the work, but really offering themselves to the process. It's so gratifying as someone who is, I think, still finding their placement in this industry and trying to become a better performer, to work with uh, people like Joseph Morgan, even if it was for a brief stint. Um, and then I have a uh, undisclosed co-star uh, in the episode that Jeff Johns and I wrote. His performance this season was, I mean, it was phenomenal. I, I, I got chills working with this actor on a day-to-day -day basis and he embodied what it means to be a professional and then and then and, and a performer to, to really transport me, Ryan who's playing Gar, out of the scene and watching him just take the scene and run with it. It was it was a, it was an absolute honor and pleasure working with him, who will be disclosed hopefully in the future. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.